I live in northern BC, uh, just out of Fort Nelson, at an old uh, gas, uh, natural gas well, I guess. The noise in the background you hear is my uh, distress animal collar thing. It's making uh, bunny rabbit sounds right now. Uh, it's kind of horrible to listen to for a while, but anyways. What I'm after is lynx. And in the first five minutes, I had a lynx poke his head up over here, over this little hill here. And then he walked along over to the noisemaker. And uh, what I've got here is the camera set up uh, D3S with a 300 2.8. And it's all sitting on my little window tripod thing. Comes in handy. That way I don't have to hold the camera for hours. But then about, uh, I don't know, five or ten minutes after the first lynx went by, there was, uh, <laughs> I spotted two little heads poking there. Heads up over the over the bank over there. And uh, so it was two more lynx. But uh, I guess they spotted me before I spotted them. I was unfortunately making a little bit of noise and they disappeared. So, anyways, one lynx and uh, spotted three in 15 minutes. That's a new record for me. That's awesome. We'll see what happens next. Well, it's been about 40 minutes now, so might move, but I'm just going to come over and see how many tracks are actually on the other side of this hill. So that's the guy that actually I got on film, or on my card. And this is where the other two were hanging out, right where he came up. Let's look how many tracks there are. Huh, it's hard to tell. There's some old tracks there, but it came up from over here, I guess. Well, I think I'll try another location. I probably attracted all the ones around here that are going to come out and play. Now well, here's my Fox Pro, <clears throat> the noise maker. I put it in a bag so that it uh, can move around in the wind and stuff and attract the animals. There it is there. It, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little thing. Okay, there. But it uh, basically has a remote control and I can program any sounds in from hundreds of sounds that I have and make custom sequences. So I'm just playing some sequences um, just for the links with rabbit noises because that's your favorite food. But it works like 100 yards away or more. Pretty cool. Well, I'm now at my second location. It's uh, fairly wide open on this side, but the other side is... Uh, bushes so it's quite easy for the lynx to hide in there and have a peek at what's making a noise I guess but I'm only about a kilometer away from my last place but I'll give this a shot for a little while and then uh, I'll head on to another place I guess up the road some more but uh, yeah this little mount works quite well I've now got the uh, 1.4 times teleconverter on there just to get a little more range but uh, the problem with Winter time here. It's actually a nice a beautiful day now. It's minus 10 to minus 15 or so I guess um, You can have problems with heat waves coming out if it's too cold. It's been minus 30 the last couple of uh, our last week was minus 30 and really cold, but Beautiful day today um, Yeah, so it's, it's quite nice. Just need a few more links to come by. I'm just now moving up to a different spot, a uh, number of kilometers more into the bush from where I was. And uh, yeah, these roads are pretty good in the winter. They're nicely maintained. And, uh, the other good thing about the winter is you can see the lynx tracks in the snow, so you can really tell where they are. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's 
see what I find up ahead. Now at my third location. Get the noise maker stuffed in the bank. Way down in there. Well, just started. Let's see what happens. As I was saying before, like on a cold day, this, uh, the heat waves coming out, this little uh, setup here actually helps to uh, have the lens so far off and out the window that you don't really get the heat waves, which blurs the photos. So, it works quite well. I think it was actually made for a spotting scope, but even with this big setup, it works pretty good. Wouldn't want to try to put the 600 mil on there, but anyways, nothing so far. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm at my fourth location, uh, here for about 20 minutes, and a lynx came walking down this road here, into the bush, and then hid in the bush for a while, and then I heard a meow, and a little baby lynx, well, not so little, but smaller, met up with them, her, I guess, maybe, the mother, and they walked together in the bush, and then crossed the road there, snapped a couple shots, and we've gone around the back for now, I just can't quite see where they went, but they might come back out. Well, now it's location number five, and the sun's going down, and the moon's out a bit. A couple of caribou running down the middle of the road. <laughs> Where'd they go? There they are. It's now dark. I'm heading back into town over this old railway bridge. I should say old. It's still being used. Yeah. That was a good day. Uh, five links. So five links today. Gotta like that. And, uh, the other day I got some uh, video of a wolf on one of my trail cameras. Maybe I'll play that next. But uh, yeah, five links in one day. It's a new record. Good thing no trains are coming.